What's up YouTube? It's Adam Della here with another pin review for True Fay. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at one of my favorite Italian pin designers, flagship pin from Paniter, and that's Dante Del Vecchio, the designer that is known for revolutionizing the Visconti brand and bringing so much to the Italian fountain pen game. Today, we're going to be taking a look at three different Paniter pins. Two of them are Paniter Arcos, and one of them is the Paniter Queen Mary. First up, we're gonna be taking a look at two different Paniter Arcos. We've got the Paniter Arco Rose Gold. So this one has rose gold trim and uh, is limited to 28 pieces. This one is numbered 23 of 28. And it is my personal pin, so I have taken it with me a lot. So you'll see there is a, you know, little signs of wear on there. Uh, it's inked up right now, so you can see the ink in there. First, let's take a look at the resins used. That's kind of what sticks out the most when you first see this pen. It's, it's an homage to the celluloid that was used back in the heyday of fountain pens. So back when everybody was using fountain pens in the 20s and 30s, they were made from mostly celluloid because modern plastics weren't uh, you know, easily manufactured back then and celluloid was in high production back then before there was a more safe way of producing plastic. Everyone kind of loved celluloid for the translucent properties it had. Um, this was around the time when tortoise shell was on the out. Um, it was devastating to the tortoise community, so that is a good thing. So they were starting to make celluloid that had that same aesthetic appeal as the tortoise shell. So this one you can see is that nice deep brown with very beautiful waves and, and just beautiful, beautiful patterns kind of throughout that you can tell they spent a lot of time to really blend the resins they use and the acrylics they use in a way to give it that look of celluloid. Um, then moving to the trim, as you can see, it is rose gold trim. We have the Paniter logo here on the cap band. We have the classic Paniter quill clip. So this is a spring-loaded clip that is very gentle on the clothing. Our finial is, uh, you know, it's also, uh, it's a little more, like I said, I take this one with me. So my finial is a little, a little dirty there. Um, on the back of the cap band here, you can see the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, a classic use of all the letters in the alphabet. And moving to the bottom, you can see our piston mechanism here. It is also a rose gold on this model. Um, and you will see that the limited run will be printed here. So it's laser etched to say 23 of 28, just letting you know what pin yours is, which is always fun to have. Um, and then taking the cap off, we have the beautiful hourglass grip section here. Um, I love this pin unposted. This grip feels amazing. It bevels all the right places and it even has this little uh, gnarled uh, end of the, of the section here that's just a nice grip if you wanna just choke up a little bit on the grip. Uh, you get a nice little extra, uh, you know, letting you know where your fingers are on the grip section. And moving to the nib, and you can see also as part of the grip section, we have the ink window here, which uh, you know is always nice to be able to see your ink. Uh, I currently have a, a kind of a raspberry color in here, as you can see. Um, and then moving up, we have a Bach nib, a Bach number six nib. Uh, it is 14 karat gold. It is Paniter's kind of signature quill nib. Um, and as you can see, it has these kind of cutouts in the side that really give it a little bit more flex when you're using it. Um, and that's all with the intent of giving you a little bit more of a unique writing experience with this nib than a normal uh, steel or gold nib that you would find. So it's a little bit more flexible um, and it really just, it, it gives you a little bit more line variation and a little bit more character to your writing. 
Um, and then the feed is just a standard uh, Bach feed. They are uh, just screwed in together as part of the nib unit. They screw in together into the grip section. So really with these nibs, what's cool because it's Bach, if you have another nib unit from Bach that's a number six nib, uh, you can just screw, unscrew this one and screw that one in and totally change up the uh, character of your Arco. Um, and what's also cool about this nib, it's just a beautiful nib. Uh, it's got this beautiful breather hole that's shaped like a keyhole. Um, just beautiful design work on the etchings down the sides of the nib. Um, and like I said, this is known as the Peniter Quill Nib. So this is kind of their signature nib. So that is the Peniter Arco with the rose gold trim. That's my personal pin. Uh, I absolutely love it. I have a broad nib and it's, and for me, I do a lot of drawing. So it's just a really fun pin to lay down the ink with. Next, we will take a look at the Arco Desert Beetle. So this one is gorgeous and I'm really happy to kind of get my hands on this latest model here that we've got at Truffet from Peniter. Um, it is a beautiful pin, just like the Arco that I have. It's got that gorgeous, gorgeous design work in the mixed acrylics that they use for the um, Arco celluloid look. Um, and instead of brown, this one's a nice kind of emerald and gray um, with silver trim. Um, and it just really, it really shines. So, and I, and I love that the cap is not silver. The, I love that the uh, piston mechanism here is not silver, it's black. That's a nice little detail there. Um, the finial, again, all silver trim rather than the rose gold trim, but same cap band here with the spring loaded, just sits really nicely up so that you can just slide, slide it onto your shirt, uh, slide it onto your breast pocket without worrying about, you know, tearing anything up. Um, same thing with the cap band. It's got the gnarled uh, inlay here with uh, the Peniter logo and then uh, the classic all, uh, all letters of the alphabet phrase written across the back, you know, about some fox and dog or something, you know, we love that. Uh, and it's got the magnetic cap, which I kind of love, you know, just spinning around. It's kind of got one orientation, so it'll do a full 360, which is just kind of fun, you know. Um, it's the little things with such a tactile kind of daily um, something that you're interacting with. It's nice when everything just has a good feeling to it when you interact with it. Um, that's why we pay more for the pins we do. We've got that beautiful white gold nib on this one. A nice black section on this instead of the uh, silver. Uh, and I really like that because that solves some of the issues with the older Arcos where they have the uh, metal here. And they've also made the uh, kind of the columns that connect the ink reservoir here. Uh, they've made those slightly wider so that they just uh, don't, uh, they're not as flimsy as in the old ones, which I just, I noticed online some people had some issues with. So that's really cool to see them kind of correcting certain things that the pin community have pointed out to them and, you know, and they're, and they're doing cool things with it. So, um, but I really love the, the look of this one. It's much lighter than all the metal on the other one. Um, so it just feels amazingly light and agile in the hand. Um, and again, it's just got that beautiful depth to this acrylic mix here that they've done. And, you know, the smooth piston system here. I love that you can see the piston go all the way down into the ink reservoir. So you really, you know, you can, even though it's not a demonstrator, you can still see what's going on, which is really cool. And it is got a big ink reservoir. I mean, all that is basically ink space there. That's the Arco, a wonderful pen. Um, and last but not least, we have a new release from Peniter. This is the Queen Mary. So it is a similar body design to the Arco. Um, off the bat, you can see a few things. This is more like a, a, a geared or a cog almost at the bottom here um, for the piston mechanism. It's, uh, it's better for grip. It's a little smaller than the, than the mechanisms on that in terms of the, the width or the circumference of the actual uh, dial or the actual screw at the top here. 
I love these little portholes that they have here. As you can tell, it's kind of modeled after the Queen Mary, uh, the ship off the coast of California. Um, it is uh, really beautiful here. You can obviously see the red, white, and blue kind of American vibe going on. And what's always nice is with this magnetic cap, the, the lines just line up perfectly, you know? So you do that 360 and it's gonna line up, you know, with the lines and because it's the magnet, there's no chance of it, you know, being misaligned, which you don't want that with a screw cap or something like that. Um, but I love these portholes because you'll be able to see your ink even when the cap's on, which is really cool. So, um, you know, just another beautiful, uh, beautiful pin from Peniter, uh, Dante Del Vecchio, doing it right. Um, and if we take the cap off, you know, again, it has the quill nib, um, the Bach number six nib with the cutouts, all done custom designed by Peniter and Dante. Um, what's cool about this pin is the grip section is much shorter and instead you have another hidden porthole here that's covered up by the cap when it's on um, to see even a little bit more ink um, and to really give you an idea of where your ink level is, which is just really cool. Um, I'm sure when somebody fills this up with ink, it will be a beautiful sight to behold. Um, and again, you have the gnarled uh, grip section here at the end here. So it's nice to just hold up on that, you know, and then your fingers just rest beautifully in the beveled section in the little hourglass section here. Um, just a wonderful pin designed by someone who really understands what feels good in the hand. You know, he's been designing some of the best pins to ever come out. And this is just another pin that is, you know, not going to feel like anything you've written with before and that is going to make you want to write a lot more. So let's take a write with my Arco. That was the Peniter Arco with a broad quill nib. Uh, you can check these out on the Trufe website. If you're interested in them, come on into the store, pick one up today, just hold it, feel it. You'll see why people like spending a little bit more to get something that gives you this kind of experience. Because in my opinion, you know, anything more than $5 is a luxury experience with a writing instrument. There is a big difference between a $50 writing experience and, you know, an $800 writing experience. And you want to have a pen that inspires you. And these pens really inspire me because they were made by someone who was so inspired by the people he knew that were using his instruments. So check out the Peniters on the Trufe website. Come on in, try one out. They're amazing writing instruments. Thanks for watching. This has been Adam Della for True Fay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. And as always, a Pinman salute to you.